been a long day. But it's over. Just got finished looking at some jobs. And I got a bunch more to look at tomorrow and the next day. I hope everybody had a good day. Today felt like the first day of the week because of the holiday. It's like that Monday blitz. Just hurry up and go get it. I'm not in the 550 today. <laughs> oh, sometimes I feel like a big kid. It's okay to have fun every once in a while though. or excavators or tree dropping in this video I'm just heading home for the day hope you guys are doing well hope you guys had a productive first day of the week hope you made it past the holiday okay and actually made it to work <laughs> yep I keep saying this but the new machine is supposed to be here next week I'm tired of saying that. I just want a true delivery day of the machine. That's what I would like. That would be great. Like, hey, Mark, honestly, the machine's going to be here coming from Georgia this day. Not like, oh, it'll be here and then it doesn't. Oh, it'll be next week. Eh, we'll get you next week. Eh, we'll get you. It's, fr it's frustrating. I thought buying a car was hard. Like, buying equipment is difficult you could have cash and be like hey I'm ready to do a deal and it's going to take you two or three months unless you're buying something that is like in stock at the at the equipment place like they got it it's there that's a different story maybe you'll get it in a week if they have it if they don't have it they got to build it or if it's in stock but it's at like another location in another state or something forget it you better not have a job plan and be like oh i'm gonna buy this new machine and i'm gonna do this and do that because it ain't gonna show up but anyway it is a little tight in these cars i'm not gonna lie i mean you're nestled in these seats pretty well especially when you hit the gas on it but anyway, it's quiet until you really get on it, though. Then it gets loud, which I'm fine with that. Like the loud exhaust and stuff. It's fun every once in a while, but not all the time. That gets old. Maybe when I was 15, that was fun. To have, like, really loud exhaust, loud cars. Eh, not anymore. Yep. But anyway... It's going to take me a minute to figure all the buttons out in this thing, that's for sure. So the excavator, the Cat 309. Um, it's 21,000 pounds. It's about 74 horsepower. Or I was offered another deal today by a totally different dealer. The company that I actually bought my lamb track from. Um... When another one drives by, are you supposed to do the wave? Like when you're driving one of these things? Is that, is that appropriate? Like, I used to own a Jeep a long time ago, and every time I'd pass by another Jeep Wrangler, they all did the... You gotta, like, nod or something while you're driving. Dab out. Anyway, what was I talking about? Okay, so the dealer with the lamb track that I got, the red machine I got, the mulcher. Which, by the way, those teeth are awesome. Those things are some chipping son of a guns, that's for sure. I don't know how long they'll last, how many hours I'll get out of them. That's what I need to find out if they're worth buying. 
but as far as like straight out of the box put it on the machine and get to going they're pretty aggressive like I was impressed with them they're definitely more aggressive than a Romec tooth somebody on uh, Instagram asked me about those today but anyway lamp track dealer uh, I was thinking about trading the machine out because they offered me uh, a deal on like a big excavator like a 33,000 pound machine it's a Hyundai 140 I don't remember the exact model number basically it's got like a hundred some horse uh, Cummins engine in it uh, it's got a push blade on it it's got steel tracks on it uh, it's got like I think 60 something 67 gallons a minute hydraulic flow 5,000 psi definitely a lot stronger to run a mulcher head on it which means you can put a bigger mulcher head on it which means I'll have more fun with it so the the mulcher head that I was gonna get on the cat 309 is like it's called an 085 B and made by Dennis Seamoff and it's like kind of a smaller mulcher head I mean it might be like a 30 inch wide cutting path but all that weight and stuff like that for an excavator with 75 horsepower it'll do it but it's not like it's not a production thing it's like you're doing a little bit of light brush or this or that it's not it'll get the job done but it's just not like performance which is kind of what we're all about here at this company so uh, we'll see what happens um right now what it's coming down to is who can get me a machine faster that's what it's coming down to i don't know if my sales guys that i'm talking to are watching this video but at the end of the day i, I need a machine on a job because we just signed on for a pretty good sized project and we definitely need an excavator on that job and it's going to be starting here uh pretty soon like middle of the month um so that's what's coming down to it's about speed it's about production how fast can we get going this is like a steep i'm not used to driving a car to the slow to the ground it's a different world you get out of a f550 like big diesel pickup truck and then you're like sitting on the ground about two inches but anyway um so that's what's going on guys i keep talking about buying a new excavator something's about to happen it's just a matter of like when are they going to deliver the thing and who can get it to me quicker i think the hyundai is uh i'm like kind of i don't know i got mixed emotions about it because i don't really know much about them i know they it seems like they make pretty decent machines i know when it comes to dirt work they're they're actually pretty good machines sounds like you can get a lot of hours on them but um as far as forestry i watched a couple videos on youtube some guys with them um you know taking trees down and stuff like that i mean it looked like they were doing a pretty good job i actually saw a, a hyundai 140 excavator on youtube it looked like an older video and the dude was running a processing head on it that's the attachment that hangs off the end of the excavator and a lot of people ask me about these things what what, what do you call that attachment it's just called a processing head it'll grab a tree it'll cut it lays it down and it rolls it through the attachment and as it's rolling through, um, it's stripping the limbs off of it. It literally just cuts them right off. And this is typically like a pine tree situation, not like big oak trees. And as it rolls them through, it can actually count like the feet and the inches that it's cutting. And then uh, um, it'll also like butt cut the log as it's rolling through. So, I mean, it's like five people's job in one. It's a really cool attachment. This Hyundai is big enough to actually run something like that. The uh, um, the Cat 309, there's just no way. Like, that attachment's so heavy, like, it would be making that excavator roll around and flop over and it'd be bouncing and tipping. And, and that can just honestly become extremely annoying when you're doing that for eight, eight and ten hours a day. The other excavator has still got a push blade on so you can anchor that in the ground and it's like 30,000 pounds. It's the way to go. I'm almost done just talking and japping my jaw. and I'm going to get out of the car and I'll show you guys what it looks like because I'm sure that's what you guys want to see. But anyway. 
So that's where I'm at on the excavator. Now what do I do when I get rid of the lamp track? Because that's like my quote unquote bigger mulcher machine. I'll replace it with a bigger one. That's exactly what I'll do. Jonathan Burgess, what's going on? I know you've been trying to call me and you think I'm dodging your calls and I haven't. I've been very busy, I apologize. We'll get together soon. But anyway, so if I get rid of the lamb track, get the excavator, uh, I need to get another mulching machine. So I'm looking at like big uh, steel track dedicated machines, basically. Um, something over 140 horsepower this time. Something like 200 horsepower. That's kind of where I'm at on that. So anyway, I'd love to show you guys some new equipment, but I can't until it comes in. And I have conversations like every day with these sales guys. I'm like, hey, where's the thing at? I gotta get to work. And they're like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't even believe this thing's sitting in my driveway either, so. Ten X fight. That's actually crossed my mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. These things are actually kind of hard to get into. Yeah, this thing's pretty fast. I was a little shocked. I grew up around hot rods and stuff like that. My dad always had something fast when I was growing up. He's had dragsters and all that junk. And I've been in some, been in some pretty fast cars and uh, I did not think this thing would impress me. And sure enough, it's impressive. All right, I really gotta go in the house cause I got estimates and stuff to write, but we could uh, take a look under the hood. Oh yeah, this thing is putting some serious heat off too, but there it is folks, big old supercharged. all that junk I gotta clean up about to build a garage I definitely gotta get that done that's for sure I'm afraid to like push the hood down things so fragile well anyway oh these are pretty cool little vents right here uh, I think that's actually for the what they say I think they said it's something to do with the transmission or some like a vent for the transmission and they're functional they're not like just for looks or whatever but where's the button to shut this thing off oh yeah all right i guess when you buy a black interior car they're not easy to keep clean how do you open the trunk on this thing there we go let's try that why did i buy this because I want to have fun. Maybe that'll help you guys if I just cover that up so you're not like, oh my God, is that what he paid for that? I think that would probably upset some people. Some people just can't be happy for you. 
think I shut it. Well, that's that, guys. I'm a land clearing company. I really enjoy what I do for work. And I guess it's okay to have a little fun, too, in the process. Yes, I need to build a garage so I can actually store this thing in there. I told the sales guy, I was like, I haven't even built my garage yet. Uh, can you throw in a car cover? <laughs> Life is about compromises. I wanted a stick shift. And my wife said, I can't drive it. You have to buy an automatic. So I bought an automatic. My birthday present, and I bought what she wanted. My brother told me before he got married, he said, oh, it ain't going to be like that. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm like, yeah, wait till you get married. Happy wife is a 10x life. <sighs> Maybe it's like a mirage. It's not really there. I don't know. Well, anyway, guys, I really got to get back to it. Finally home for the day. That was fun. 20 minutes or something it's probably just gonna sit in the driveway now for the rest of the week and i might go drive it this saturday i don't know at the end of the day it's just a car like this is a truck those machines are machines got my loud mouth dog over here that's just a dog have fun guys must be nice mark says oh come on mark this is this guy you got rental properties and you're telling me must be nice come on mark how about all them harleys you got and all those motorcycles look guys at the end of the day i had a goal in life can i even set this camera up here i said before i turn 30 i'm gonna own a company i'm gonna make a million bucks i'm gonna buy a corvette and I'm going to hide all the gray hair I can until I hit 30. Done a pretty good job. So this is what I bought myself for my birthday. With my wife's permission. <laughs> I got to go. See you guys later. Tomorrow. That's what we'll do. Manana.